Are you Don Juan or Dumb Juan? Have you lost that loving feeling? Are you relationship poor? Can you not get to first base with your business contacts? Well, here's how to get that loving feeling back in business anyway. Don Juan is here to save you. All right, in life, everyone wants to be seduced, yet almost no one does it. In business, this means there's a market aberration, a big time advantage if you take the time to actually do it. And you should do it with all relationships. It's for everyone. So how do you do it? Here's the six steps. One, make the first move. Dumb Juan sits back. Don Juan attacks. Always make the first move. Two, stop talking about yourself. Stop talking about yourself. Stop talking about yourself. Or because we're talking business here, stop talking about your company. Don Juan knows better. Three, find their raison d'etre, their reason to be. God, I hated French in high school. Every new relationship, I ask the following at some point. Why do they do X? Why did they become an entrepreneur? Why are they an investor? How did they get into it, whatever it is? People tell you. They want to tell you. Find out why they do what they do. That's important shit. There's actually nothing more important. So listen carefully. Four, now you know what makes them tick because they told you. Put yourself in their shoes. What do they need to hear? What do they need to see? What do they need to feel? Then be that in an authentic, generous way. Are they bored? Be exciting. Are they burned out? Be energetic. Are they anxious? Be a rock. Are they confused? Be their clarity. Are they hesitant? Be definitive. Are they going through hell? Be a true friend. And again, I mean this in an authentic, genuine human way. Don't try to fake this stuff, otherwise you're a con man. Five, make them feel. How do you do this? Do something they don't expect. It can literally be a physical thing. It can be a joke. It can be some attempt to bridge their specific interest. It can be some form of commiserating whatever it is. It can be listening itself. But self-deprecation goes a long way here, especially really embarrassing stories. I'll fall on the sword. Here's a quick example. Years ago, I left the manufacturing plant to go grab some lunch. I was driving a truck. I pull up to an intersection and the light was red. I look over to my left. I see this beautiful woman in the car next to me, just absolutely stunning. So I smile. I start flirting with her. She gives me a great big smile back and waves at me, kind of a weird way, but I wave back and I'm feeling awesome about myself, like I'm Don Juan or something. Light turns green. I start to drive again. At that moment, I look in my rear view mirror and I'm wearing a hairnet. I forgot to take it off. You know, one of those real attractive white ones you wear in a food plant. I just about died from embarrassment. She was being gracious and pointing at my hairnet. And well, in hindsight, laughing at me and not flirting with me at all. At least I made her laugh. Self-deprecation. It humanizes you in a good way. Six, last step. When the conversation is rolling, when you feel the momentum and everything is going in the right direction. You ready for it? Walk away. Less is more. Less is more. Less is more. When you leave in the middle, they want more. Be a Don Juan of business. Less is more. On that fine note, leave your comments, your thumbs up below. Sharing is caring. Maybe even leave your own embarrassing stories. And if you want to start your own startup, join us at gusher.co. We do startups all day, 
every day. Join the movement.